Well, the X4 is back into the Hillbilly Garage because I still have yet to uh, get to work on Hillbilly Garage 2.0 besides tearing it down. But anyway, you can see. No, you can't because it's washed out. Mm. She's all tore down to the CVT again because we are going to take the Hunterworks sheave out and throw in the JBS. That's right. It's time for round two of our Hunterworks versus JBS shootout. We've got all the times we need with our Hunterwork sheave now. We've even been able to compare it to Raging Rhino, so there's nothing left to do but to pull the Hunterworks out for now, throw in the GPS, get some miles, and get some times done. As you guys already saw, I got most of this already tore down, so let's get this pulled real quick, and then we will show you a couple differences between the Hunterworks and the JBS. Having an impact helps tremendously. Lose that. We don't want to lose that. And off she comes. All right. So here we got the two side by side again. When you compare these in the one video, there really isn't much to see. Here is our cam plate. It'll get reused, of course. Everything's looking pretty good on it. Yep, 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 yep. Now the biggest difference between the Hunterworks and JBS, and I guess I should say the obvious difference, like we showed before, it is hard to... Whoop, there goes all our weights. Hard to tell from looking at it machine-wise. Now, of course, the Hunterworks, we pointed this out before, leaves a lip here where the JBS shaves that clear down. But other than that, it is really hard to see any difference in the sheave now. Internally is where you get the biggest difference. Hunterworks, again, prefers to run the greaseless. They use your standard typical weights, whereas JBS runs overdrive weights. So a little bit of difference in design and function. So basically all I got to do here is we got to clean up our clam cam plate. I'll probably hit this with some cleaner real quick. Uh, we'll grease her up. We'll clean and re-grease our collar. We're going to run the polyura grease on our collar and then the automatic CVT grease in here for our weights. So it really should not take a whole lot to get this guy ready to go. Now, the JBS does have a shim. You want to make sure to put it on after you put your collar on so it's on the outside. If not, that can space this out away from your fixed sheave a little bit. And this hole here that allows the grease to expand and gives it somewhere to go can ooze out of here easier if you have it, the spacer on the wrong side. So make sure the spacer is on the outside. So collar, spacer. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the sheave. Make sure it's clean from fingerprint grease, any grease, grime, or dirt that it may have got on the bench. Because we don't want that getting on our belt, messing it up. And once we got that wiped down, we're going to slide her on. You want to make sure to squeeze your belt here a little bit. Give this a push to make sure that your cam plate is on the entire way and you got your washer your nut and we're gonna take the impact to her again I'm gonna squeeze the belt to make sure it's not interfering as we tighten back this guy out 
we can give her a couple of turns here. Get her engaged. And there we are. Let's give her a quick start, make sure everything checks out. Something I almost forgot to do, you guys, we did for the Hunterworks in the stock is we want to check see what our starting ratio is. So I got my mark on my secondary here. I marked this rib on the primary. We'll see how many turns of the primary it takes to move the secondary. So here we go. One. Two. Oh, wow. We are almost, oh, I'd say probably about two and three quarters a turn. If you remember the Hunter Works, we were, and again, guys, this isn't that scientific or engineerific, however, but we were around in here, a stock one. We were clear back here somewhere. So stock Hunter Works on JBS is way up here, which should equate to a loader starting gear, basically, which should get out, give us a lot more get up and go off the very, very bottom end. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and throw everything back together, and then we'll go for a quick little jaunt, and I'll give you my first impressions of the JBS Performance Sheaf. Woo! It's feeling pretty good. I get a little heat in the belt. We'll try a little launch. I don't have the draggy with me right now. We'll do a dedicated video on getting our times down. I just cruise around a little bit and see how she feels. Give her a little launch. 
once again, I don't have the drag gear or anything with me. We'll just go for the seat of the pants feel right now.